we have been asked by one of our lovely Instagram followers to talk to you a little bit about the fourth trimester. Um, and that was asked of a the fourth trimester um, because the fourth trimester is a time of immense change for um, the parents, the baby it is an, a magical time but it was also a time where us as parents have a lot of feelings we've got a lot of feelings, we might be kind of vulnerable at the time, we might have gone through some shit and we're probably also having to learn a lot of new stuff, caring for somebody else um, trying to manage our expectations of how that baby's going to sleep. We might be finding that we're going to put baby down and baby is immediately crying and we're like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Mm. And I suppose really the only thing that people might be doing wrong is thinking just they're doing something wrong. thinking they're doing something wrong yeah. and being a bit too hard on themselves. You know, we're not meant to be able to pop our babies down and leave them. It wouldn't make any biological sense. So when we know that, then we can kind of hopefully manage our expectations for that and go into our postpartum period she's expecting to be holding a baby a fuck yeah, lord absolutely so what is the fourth trimester the fourth trimester is the three months following your baby's birth it is a um time of change like i said and babies are really having to adapt to the outside world for nine months they've been inside they've been enjoying the comforts of the womb they've been fed at every second they've needed to be fed through the umbilical cord they've been the exact temperature they needed to be the exact right sounds and basically everything has been perfectly optimal for them in there and then they're born into this world and they have to all of a sudden make their needs known so they need to let you know what they want by crying for certain things they need to make noise to ensure that they're you know paid attention to I'm sure you're paying attention anyway but this is what babies do they need to wake up often to make sure that their breathing is regulated to make sure that their temperature is regulated there's all these new things that babies are learning as well as the fact that it's light and dark and sometimes they're hot and sometimes they're cold and sometimes they're hungry and sometimes they're full it's and there's loud noises <laughs> But they might not be used to yeah. they're not in that safe little cocoon anymore where you were taking care of them and so you've got to learn to kind of see what they do, manage that and work that into your lifestyle. They've also got to learn to feed alongside you. Um, if you're breastfeeding, then that is something that, yes, it is natural. It's a perfectly normal thing, mm. but we always say that it is natural, like walking rather than breathing. You don't just come out automatically doing it. There are some kind of ways where you fall down and you perhaps need some support and the best thing I think that you can do with that and with kind of feeding in general is to listen to your baby feed them when they want to be fed try and have nice and peace and quiet and not a lot else to do because mm -hmm. that I think is something that new parents often struggle with is that kind of thing where they feel like they're doing nothing when actually learning to respond to your baby and helping your baby to transition into the world is doing something. It's doing something really important. It is. So spend your fourth trimester doing what feels like nothing. You should be prioritising rest. You should be prioritising getting to know your baby, making things easier for your baby. Slings, having your baby in a sling, like so. We are not in our fourth trimester here, but still, baby is enjoying being in the It sleep. works. Look yeah. at what I'm getting on with. Yeah. I'm just having a nice hot cuppa, sitting with a friend, and getting some work done. And that's it. It's we, as a society, have this thing where we want to put baby down and go about our day, and then baby might not like that and might not respond well to that, might cry, and then we feel frustrated. I've got so much to be getting on with. But actually... Mm -hmm. Do what's easy. This child is not going to be in here when he's 18 years old. That would be fucking weird and he'll probably be bigger than me. So that won't work, but I'm not expecting that it will and I'm sure he's not either. Um, so if you can just do what works, maybe, mm. yeah, you're holding them all the time or you're using a sling or you're asking for help from others to, yes. you know, do the, the cooking and the cleaning and things like mm -hmm. that that you want to be getting on with. But realistically, 
isn't going to happen. Asking for help is one of the biggest things I can say for your fourth trimester to make it easier for you. I hate asking for help. I'd rather get on and do things myself. I don't like having to explain things to people. I don't like yeah, having other people do stuff for me. But actually, third time round, I basically spent my fourth trimester in bed with my baby, just enjoying being there with him, bonding, we were breastfeeding, we were just snuggling. Um, Netflix, get yourself a Netflix subscription, a long ass charger, a sling, um, a bottle to hydrate yourself. And honestly, you don't need an awful lot else. You just need to prioritize just resting. Your body's just done something amazing. Not only has it grown a human, it has then birthed a human. And so you do need that time to just chill out and get to know your baby. If baby cries, then that's what babies sometimes do. If they're excessively crying, there could be something else going on. Um, and it might be best to hit up the GP, see if there's anything that they can help with there, um, or go and find um, information from places like Emily at Fox and the Moon Sleep. She's fabulous for anything like that, kind of fourth trimester, like troubleshooting, I suppose. Um, but it's not a time where you need to be productive. Yeah, and I think as a society, we're all like, go, 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 what have you achieved today? And it can be really hard for new parents who kind of feel like, gosh, I've barely managed to get dressed today. I didn't manage a shower and I've got a load of half completed mm -hmm. tasks all around the house. Um, I definitely learned the third time round that doing what would be perceived on the outside as doing fuck all <laughs> was actually the best. It helped my milk supply to settle down faster than any other time because my baby would look to be fed and I would feed him immediately. So our bodies were able to respond well together and my milk wasn't having to like build up while we were off into town and then be leaking all over the shop. Um, he would just was so settled. He wasn't after anything because there I was ready to respond to his needs. I think we do like to make things hard for ourselves yeah. by you know, showing how quickly we've bounced back and, you know, oh, look at me, I'm just getting on with my life. But it is really important that you yeah. get to rest and recover. You know, your stomach muscles are, you know, they've done a very difficult job of yeah. like getting out of the way to make space for your baby and your belly. Your pelvic floor is taking a fucking battering probably. <laughs> um, you may have... Um, tears and things that need to heal you might have a cesarean incision all of these things they need you to rest and recover and what we can do when we take on too much is slow down that process massively um, and another thing that we don't have these days that kind of makes it harder to rest during our fourth trimester is the village now you've probably all heard the saying it takes a village where as we don't have that we don't, we don't have that in this country. We certainly don't have that in this time. Um, but if you can try and find the people that will support you, like friends, I know for personally for me, second time around having Alex around, having somebody that I could talk to and just go for a walk with, like that made a huge difference to me. Having people there that you have very similar kind of ideals um, can be really helpful and letting people help, like I said. The fourth trimester is incredible having that new baby and soaking it up but it can be difficult so go easy on yourself and try and protect your space as well mm. you know try not to be overloaded with visitors um, you can put boundaries in place if you don't fancy doing it maybe someone else can do it for you by letting friends and family know how often you're up for visiting um how long you want people to visit for, whether you want them to bring food, if you can, you know, if someone says you up for a visit, yeah, sure, could you bring some food? Yeah. Um, or, yeah, I'm up for a visit, but just for an hour because we are wanting to get lots of rest. People generally, if they're good people, mm. are very kind of understanding about that. And if they're not, Fuck them off. they're probably not the sort of people to have in your <laughs> postpartum <laughs> space, are they? Absolutely not. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come and find us on Instagram at The Birth Uprising, where we will be sharing lots of birthy information. And yeah, thanks. Bye.